hi guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the title today we are gonna cook some artichokes these are flowers they are not vegetables they've got you know the pollen grains and all the properties of flowers now this can be a pain in the ass to cook because it takes so much time and it's kind of a little bit complicated to cook but today i'm gonna show you how to cook it so easily without wasting much time let's just get started so to start i'll get some water and come in with some lemon juice as you can see i have my gloves on if you don't have gloves you would have to put some lemon juice on your hands because this can make your hands dark at the end so i will just cut the excess stock at the end now i'll remove the outer petals these are so hard and it's gonna take forever to cook they are so dry and even if you cook them it would not be tasty so you would like to get rid of them now as you remove them if you get to the softer part it's time to stop and mind you don't throw the stock away we are gonna use them we are gonna eat them too Now, I will cut off the upper part. I'll just throw them away because we are not going to use it. With the help of a scraper, I'll just clean the stock. And do you remember the stock I cut off? Yes, I'm just going to clean them up with the help of a scraper too. Now it's time to open up the flower. You should start with the outer petals and work your way into the inner part. This will make it very easy. Now with the help of the scoop, we are gonna scoop out the inner part. This is where the pollen grains are. You would not want to eat this. As you can see, it looks you know, kind of hairy and it's very terrible if you don't get it off. Now I'll get my lemon water and put in the artichoke. I'll soak it up for about 30 minutes. Whilst it's soaking, I'm gonna get my parsley. As you can see, it is frozen, so I'll just defrost it. Now I'll get a garlic and chop it into pieces. I will then add it to the parsley. Then I'll sprinkle in my favorite seasoning. I'll also come in with some white pepper. Then finally, I will use about two tablespoonful of olive oil. I'll mix everything up. Now I'll open up the center of the flour and come in with the mixture. It should be enough to just fill it up. Now this flour has a very strong smell, so this is gonna help neutralize it a little bit. Now I'll put it head down into my saucepan. And don't forget to come in with the stalks. As you can see, there is this excess stalk which will prevent me from covering my saucepan very well. So I'll just cut them off and just drop them inside. So I'll squeeze some lemon juice over it and finally just drop the whole lemon into it i would add some more olive oil and of course i'm gonna come in with some oregon i'll come in with some water and get it almost covered i will cover it up and leave it to cook for about an hour and a half and don't forget we're doing this on low fire After about an hour and a half, our artichokes are ready. Since it's very wet and I like it on the drier side, I'm just going to put it in my baking pan. We are going to put it in the oven for about 15 minutes and the oven is about 200 degrees Celsius hot. You can add some extra flavor if you want, it's just up to you. And don't forget to add some more oil. Now, this is smelling good already. So after baking it for about 15 minutes, this is what we have here. Our artichokes are ready. I'm just going to cut it open. And as you can see, this flower looks and tastes so, so good. As you can see, it takes a very long time to cook this flower. But after you are done, you are never going to regret cooking it. 
This flower is so tasty and it's so healthy. So I hope you are gonna give it a try from now onwards. Let me know in the comment section how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm gonna see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye!